Hosted and moderated by New York Times editors, the Athens Democracy Forum brings together politicians, policymakers, journalists, scholars, and experts from the fields of business, finance, and technology to explore the challenges to liberal democracy and ways to face them. The forum allows for challenging panel discussions, debates, and interviews, while it's gaining crucial insights into our brave new world. We connect with global leaders for an unparalleled experience of diverse events in the birthplace of democracy. Thank you for coming together in the birthplace of democracy. Democracy under challenge is our subject. Well, that is good. Democracies need to be challenged. You have these communities that are very isolated in many respects, suddenly having a stake in the system. Questioning where we are, where we are going, and what really needs to be done. Is it really true that hundreds of millions of people haven't been lifted out of poverty? We as a society have a very pressing challenge, which is to train our kids and teach our kids how to be digital citizens. And who am I to make these decisions? Uh, but this is why we have the free press in a democracy. No system that I know of, even the most corrupt system that I know of, condones private taking of money by the leaders from economic growth, from business transactions. We have the right, we have populism, we have big business and corruption, and so it's very important for young people to be able to discuss this vital issue. If this deal collapses, next week you will have on the Greek islands more than 100,000 people. Do you want it? Answer me please to this question. Going back to the birthplace is a way to concentrate the minds of people from many walks of life. We have somehow failed this time around to accommodate this demand for urban living. Today, more people are questioning these fundamental human rights principles than at any time in a generation or more.